Schutz. my own pickle the dinosaur for those of you who don't know my friend Mariah Elizabeth had launched a campaign for her plushie for pickle and she generously sent me one unfortunately it arrived after the date so the pre-orders are closed so you get to see me enjoy him and he's gonna be in my background all right now that we got the cute stuff out of the way you saw the title today we're doing squishy unmakeover which is the episode where I take perfectly good squishies and ruin them <laughs> <laughs> which, which is pretty much the opposite of what Mariah Elizabeth does, where she takes perfectly destroyed squishies and turns them into works of art. But we're not about the cuteness here. Remember that. You signed up. And so... And as your grains can see, I have five squishies from Mariah Elizabeth's collection. When she released them a couple of weeks ago, I went ahead and nabbed five of them. But Jackie, what are you going to do with them? Look at me. Look at me. What's the title of this video? Yeah. We're going to destroy them! <gasps> but before those of you who want to say, But Jackie, this is Mariah Elizabeth's hard work. How dare you destroy it? Stop. I have her blessing and permission. Maybe. <laughs> Of course, before doing that, I'm keeping one for myself because this is my friend's hard work and it's a milestone in her career, so I'm keeping one for myself. But I also know that many of you didn't get a chance to get one, so I'll have a giveaway for one of them. Which means that three of them belong to me. <laughs> So before we start, let us do a quick review of this squishy. Firstly, the packaging comes with a pun. It is a strawberry. So we have a berry with a bear, and the packaging is a strawberry. So I think this is absolutely adorable, and the pun in the front gets extra bonus points. So Mariah, you get bonus points. Here's a star. Let's make it a silver star for now. Maybe it'll change to gold, which it'll most likely will. Now, I have no idea if these are scented, but if it is, I do expect it to smell like a strawberry. Obviously. What else would it smell like? Pineapple, Jackie? Yeah, very smart. And upon first whiff... Ooh. Mm. So it has this really mild strawberry scent to it that is kind of like those little candies that actually look like they're in little strawberry wrappings. I'll put a picture of them right here. So it has this sweet smell and it doesn't have this gross factory smell af after smell? Gross factory after smell. That's what I'm trying to say. Mmm. This is actually quite pleasant. So far, you're still maintaining that star. And now to check the squish test. Ooh. Well, that is beautifully slow rising. Very nice. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna put the silver star back. I'm gonna change it to gold and I'm gonna smack it. There you go. It's yours, Mariah. <laughs> this is really cute. I also love the fact that it does come with her signature at the bottom. And if you wanna turn it into a charm, you could just poke the top over here and dangle it from your bag or whatnot. This is so good. It smells really nice. I don't even know what the texture is like. One of the things that I noticed right away is that the texture feels way more cloth-like than plasticky. This is an interesting texture. I like it. So again, congratulations to Mariah for releasing her first set of squishies. I wish I had gotten the DIY one, but that was sold out way faster than I can get to it. And that is why, since I couldn't get my hand on a DIY one, you strawberries are going to be it. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Oh, it smells like extra strawberry in here. Triple the strawberry scent. Time for squishy roasting, pun edition. I need you grains to bear with me. <laughs> this squishy is so unbearably cute that I have to absolutely rip it apart with my bare hands. And because of that, it will meet its grisly doom. What a joker. <laughs> By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. If you like it, then I will do double, because I want to make you happy. And so now we're going to be starting with our first unmakeover. I have to say, look, hey, look at me two seconds. I have to admit, I do feel bad ruining one of my friend's squishies, but again, I have her blessing. Okay. 
And so a little strawberry meat says scissors. And for the first one, I really wanted to keep it very simple. So I started removing other parts of the head and making little scars here and there because I'm not gonna tell you what we're going to turn it into, but it is something that I've done before on my channel when it comes to squishies. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking the piece that we removed that has the ear, turning it around and placing it back in there. It's almost like a reverse plastic surgery where you're taking the parts that you don't want and putting it where it shouldn't be. Does that make sense? Makes sense in my head. Once the glue was dried, I decided to take some of my 3D fabric paint, seal the ends and make some texture on that little bulbous thing. Actually, I'm gonna do the texture after, so at least we sealed some of those holes. Can you tell what it is? Let me know in the comment section below if you're guessing what kind of squishy this berry is going to be turning into. And yeah, those eyes, way too tiny and cute. We don't need some of that. We need creatures of darkness. <laughs> Rubber band time? Oh no. <gasps> Contamination. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what did I do? And now for one of my favorite parts when it comes to decorating any kind of squishy, spray paint. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's um let's sand this stuff first. our bear is done what I want to do is start with the strawberry portion because I still want to keep that berry part at least for this one but again we're going to make it look well if you haven't guessed it by the way yeah we're going zombie zombie that's where we're going so I want the strawberry portion to be um let's say rotten so we're going to mix red with a little bit of brown to get a bit of a darker tone and once we get the base covered I definitely want to go ahead and do some mold so we're going to take some green add a little bit of black to it, just so that it looks a little gross, and put it into some of the crevasses. to the fun part. I'm not sure what these fingers are doing, but they're doing something. And so now that our base colors are down, I'm going to be putting the little stripes for the strawberry, but they're going to be a darker color because, you know, rotten and, and all that stuff. I tried as much as possible to follow the pattern, but I wanted them to just look a little bit more seedy. I don't know if that's a mistake, but I went ahead with it anyways. And much like my other zombies, I wanted the eyes to be yellow. So I went ahead and did that. And of course we need the iconic eyes that are going this way, kind of like, I, I have nothing special with my, I can't do cool things with my, but just let's pretend one eye is looking in each direction. And of course I needed to do some touch-ups because there, there was some spillage a little bit here and there. Our first bear done. This one is a zombie berry. A zombie berry. 
I have to admit, I think it's pretty cute. I really wanted the colors to be desaturated and much darker than the other zombies I made, even though it does look like it's making friends with the other zombie creatures. I wanted the tones of this one to be a lot less saturated. I think I said saturated twice. You know what I mean. And in terms of keeping the essence of the berry sandwichy kind of thing, I think it's not bad. And you can see here side by side what it looks like when we first started versus what it looks like now. Obviously it was way cuter before. But that's not what we do! You believe me, right? Say yes. And of course, once it's fully dry, here we are with a squish test. And here's the squish test. Still very nice and slow rising. And yep, <laughs> everything is very slow, squishy. All right, you know what that means? <laughs> hey, stop it. Hello there, my little friend. <laughs> <laughs> Victim number two. She's cute. She's pink and red, and she definitely smells like strawberries. But even though she's absolutely adorable, this is not her final form. Now, even though the first one, all we did was remove parts, in this second one, I want the transformation to be way more drastic, so the unmakeover is going to be hardcore. So we're going to cut off the whole top bun of the berry. And those ears, yeah, we don't need them. Get out of here. Let's take a quick moment to appreciate at the fact that there's no major air bubbles that ruin the squishiness. And we won't be needing those eyes again. What is it with me and demonic eyes? <gasps> uh oh. Some of you might have an idea where this is going because, yep, we're turning this into another food item. I want to know in the comment section below if you can guess it. In the meantime, I'm going to start sealing the parts that are foamy with the 3D fabric paint. Alright, so before we go on any further, the sandwich, if you didn't guess, it's a sandwich. It's a bear sandwich. Is it dark? Yes. So before we go on any further, I put a toothpick inside because now we need to give it a coat of spray paint to make sure that the color is even everywhere. Kind of like a base coat. <laughs> And while it's drying, I have a flat piece of foam. I'm going to take some of my puffy paint and turn it red. So we're gonna have a nice little flat tomato. Now, while we're waiting, I'm going to be taking this glue looking thing from a craft kit, well, squishy craft kit from Japan, and it's supposed to help you make cheese and lettuce kind of texture for squishies. So I pretty much mixed it with watercolors, but my watercolor here didn't want to work, so I ended up taking gouache. Once it was all mixed up, I tried to lay it as flat as possible, and now we wait. Six and a half hours later. Are you kidding me? Oh no. I really thought this would work, because initially I had no idea how it's supposed to work, but it seems to have stuck. Oh. Even though this is the perfect size, it still does have a tendency to break, so. Eh. Let's try again, but this time with chocolate pastels. Nope, nope, now we have cottage cheese. I'm gonna go back with watercolors again and hope that maybe putting it on glass might be our solution. So here is attempt number two. And let's make a middle, let, let's make a little cheese. So now 
now we have both of them. All we gotta do is wait. I still have hope that this is going to dry, but it's still pretty wet. In the meantime, let's go ahead and paint our little bun on the outside and at the bottom. Well, uh, on the top and the bottom. Wow, English number one. For the bread part, I really had to look at a reference picture because for some reason, I don't know why I forgot what bread looks like. And I wanted to shade it as well. So I went ahead with a lighter color and then decided to try and put some shading here and there. Now that our bare base is done, I have to admit I am in love with this shade of brown. It's just so perfectly chopped. I really want to know what's going to happen with our lettuce and cheese because when we tried last time, yeah, let's let's look at that. But it seems to have stuck. Oh. Yeah, don't don't put it on saran wrap because it doesn't work. So I'm really hoping that even if it doesn't come out in one piece, can we still get it off? And it seems like we're okay. <gasps> oh, this is working ish. Come on. Please. Ooh. Please. We have lettuce! I'm so happy. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Good job, Jackie. All right, at least I'm glad we have lettuce. It's not sticky and it's not breaking. That's good news. Now, cheese. It's okay if the cheese is a little broken. We can put it in the right places. It's coming. I think I have the YouTuber face now. Okay, so again, good news with the cheese. It looks a little cracked, but that's good because it really does look like cheese melted, which means we can start layering this. Look at that. And then our lettuce. Oh my God. No, wait, like so. That looks good. And let's not forget, I have our slice of tomato and our top bun. Don't worry, I'm gonna draw the face on our hamburger. <laughs> Get it? Mariah, you're not the only one who could do puns. Hamburger, fight me. <laughs> okay. Go figure, she would do something sweet and I would turn it into something salty. So now what's going to be left is to glue these pieces together. And I'm going to be using the fabric glue. And as a finishing touch, we're going to do the eyes, the little X's for eyes. Don't worry, it's sleeping. <laughs> Our hamburger is, that, that sounded forced, hamburger, hamburger, <laughs> hamburger. There, it could sound natural if you wanted to, but I was overemphasized. I have to admit, it is absolutely adorable. I love the bun. I'm not sure if that's really a bun, but it, it looks very bunny. Oh, another bun. We could make a bun knee. I'm leaving that to you, Mariah. I think the shading on the bread is pretty good. Of course, we could put condiments. You could put ketchup, you could put mustard, you could put mayo. Let me know what are your favorite condiments on hamburgers. I personally like ketchup and mayo and relish and mustard. Actually, I like all of them. They're all good. Let me know in the comment section below. And as you can see, here they are side by side. Yes, we started with a strawberry, but a hamburger is pretty good too. Squish test for our hamburger. And my biggest worry is if this is going to stick. Oh my God, that is beautifully slow. And no, it doesn't stick and it's still pretty squishy and very flexible. That is probably one of my favorite to squish just because of all the different textures. Look at that. Oh my God. Yeah. Our last one, I caught it this time, is going to be very different. I mean, these last two will have nothing on this modification. And so unlike the first two, which remained bears, this one is going to change species entirely. It's going from a bear to a... I'm not gonna tell you yet, but I'm pretty sure you can guess as we're doing this, which means the nose, the ears, they go baba. All right, let's be serious for just a couple of seconds here. When it comes to squishy unmakeovers, it would make sense if I want to make, let's say, eight legs for me to take a piece of scrap foam and pretty much do it, right? But no, we're going to be using a hot dog. 
a perfectly good hot dog, if I might add. And so what I'm going to do is take the hot dog, split it into eight different little pieces, and do pretty much the same thing I did for the hamburger, where I tuck the limbs underneath the whole thing. Am I making a mistake by giving myself extra- that's eight limbs! Eight limbs, nerdy crafter, what are you doing? I'm a sucker for punishment, what do you want from me? For good measure, I'm taking one of the ear pieces and turning it into that octopus kind of snouty thing. I'll post pictures of octopi squishies, and, and it's always with that little roundy thing as a mouth. So I figured, hey, I'll just roll with it. Ah, great. Now these eyes are too close. Oh, no. Here we are with the demonic eyes. So now that the base of what I want it to look like is pretty much done, I'm going to go ahead with the 3D fabric paint and cover up all those foamy gaps so that it looks like one nice piece. So I decided to add tiny starfish over here, but as I'm looking at this, the tentacles are made out of hot dog. Is it a hot dog octopus? I don't know, what should we name it? Let me know in the comment section below. Time for spray painting. And so one of the aesthetics I wanted for the top part was a kind of seashell. I know it's not really the seashell form, but let's just go ahead and try it anyways. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> That's not what I meant. Yeah, I'm not liking this. I'm starting over. And so with attempt number two, I'm going to try my best to kind of go with that pattern of shell because I really didn't like the first version. Let's look at it again. Yeah, that's gross. out of all the pieces that I painted today and unmade over, this one is probably the most difficult. Obviously, I mean eight limbs, I kind of I kind of did this to myself. And here is the before and after of our hug octopus. I have to admit, before finishing this piece, I was really, I, it was probably one of my least favorites. But as I started adding more detail, I was like, yeah, I, I think it's kind of cute. The question is, is it my favorite of the three? And the answer is, mm, no. Probably my favorite of the three is the hamburger. Please help me name them. Let me know the name that you think is appropriate for the zomberry, hamburger, and the hot octopus. Obviously, in addition to their pun names, because they need names. Right? Right. One of the things I really love about the, the octopus is that it looks like it's ready to fight because it's like, look at it, its tentacles are kind of like in a fighting position. And yeah, I, I totally noticed that um, one of the tentacles was put in reverse. So the bottom part is on top. Am I going to change it? Heck no. Why? Because I spent enough time on it. And of course, we can't forget the squish test. And let's squeeze it this way first. And <laughs> Okay, I think I think I think I'm slightly in love. Are these also good? Yes. And just to let you grains know, I do let these dry overnight before I do any kind of squishing because I don't want any of the paint to come off or it to be fragile. So as you can see, still a little sticky, but it's cute. Fight me! I really wanted to say a really huge Did I say really twice? I don't remember. Let's try that again. I wanted to say a really huge thank you to those of you who picked up the 1 million subscriber limited edition gold foil, blue foil, and pink foil merch. They should be on their way. If you want to watch the previous squishy unmakeover, 
check it over here. And if you want to watch a video that YouTube thinks is just right for you, check it out down here. Until then, please stay safe and stay indoors. I'll see you grains in the next video.